Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Vaisala and our newly opened R&D and Innovation Center here at Vantaa, Finland. My name is Nina Alaluopa, and today here with me are Vaisala President and CEO Kai Östämä and Head of Sensor Factory Ulla Bogdanov. We have a very interesting 15 minutes coming up. We're going to talk about science, we're going to talk about innovations, we get to see Vaisala's clean room. You can send questions and comments online throughout the sessions and we take them into discussion at the end of the session. But before we go to the actual topic of today, uh, Kai, could you start with a, a short introduction of Vaisala? Yeah, uh, Vaisala prov provides uh, the measurements that really enable a better world. Uh, through the so solutions and, 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 uh, and, and measurements that we provide, uh, we tackle things like big th things like climate change in the uh, and and in the areas of weather, uh, uh, environment, and and industrial industrial side. Uh, the few examples of of the solutions that we provide are very accurate uh, measurement equipment for predicting weather, um, also um, safe and and. Uh, and proper uh, produ production of, of vaccines, as, as well than even exploration of space. So today we go behind the scenes of developing and producing uh, Vaisala science-based innovations, and we get to see where the world's most reliable sensors are made, and by that I, of course, mean our very own in-house clean room. So I know we are all very eager to see the clean room, but before going there, let's talk just a couple of minutes about science, because without science we wouldn't be here in the first place. So, uh, Kai, what kind of role uh, science has in Vaisala? Science-based innovation is very at the, at the heart, at the core of Vaisala. We need this kind of uh, innovation to tackle the big problems that we are trying to solve. We have some 50 uh, researchers in, in, at, at Vaisala, uh, most of which were working at re applied research uh, for, for, for long-term problems. Uh, we do not expect results of, of these activities in actual products in the next few years. Actually, the sites are much, much longer term. Uh, the in when we innovate really entirely new solutions and products, we need this kind of an activity. It takes a lot of work in research and innovation to productize and get them actually in the, into the marketplace. And that this, I think, we are really excellent in commer really commercializing science. Exactly. And, and, and in addition to our own research and development work, uh, we collaborate acti actively with the scientific community. So can you tell a little bit about this? Yeah, in, uh, on top of our own research and innovation activities, it's, it's very I important for us to collaborate with, with various different parties around the world. It really enables us to be the technology leader that we are. We collaborate with various different kinds of uh, organizations such as research institutes, different corporations, uh, meteorological institutes around the world, uh, as well as universities in various different kinds of fields of, uh, of technology. So we're soon about to see uh, how we create our sensors uh, and, and see uh, Vaisala's clean room. But uh, Ulla, before we go uh, and see the clean room, can you just briefly tell us what exactly is a clean room? Sure. So. Uh, Clean room is an area where air quality, humidity and temperature are controlled. And the clean room air is continuously cleaned uh, by filtering through HEPA filters. So the air is almost particle free. And, and to keep it clean, uh, also people who are working in the clean room, they are wearing special clean room clothing to prevent any human related contamination like hair or skin to get into the clean room air or to the products. So basically clean rooms are used uh, when extreme cleanliness is required to ensure the best possible quality of products like our sensors mm. are. Okay, so let's, let's see the clean room. Now this is Vaisala's clean room. Um, what do we do in this area? What is this uh, clean room used for, Ulla? Yes, so clean room is where we manufacture our sensors. And clean room also provides the facilities for our R&D to continuously develop our sensor technologies for the future products. We also have our own polymer laboratory where we manufacture polymers for our sensors. 
The sensor manufacturing starts uh, from a blank wafer, for example, silicon, alumina or glass. And the sensor structure, which is the heart of the sensing element, is built on top of the wafer by using different technologies like tin film deposition, lithography and etching. And here you can see our anodic bonding area. With this technology, uh, we bond electrode bottom wafer and membrane wafer together and create a vacuum inside our pressure sensors. On the left side, in this same room, you can see one of our plasma etching machines where we etch our thin films. And this is the lithography area. Lithography is used to create desired sensor structures on the wafer by using photomask, photoresist and exposure. Tin film deposition technologies are used for creating capacitors, resistors and contacts to our sensors. This is our evaporation and here you can see how we are loading the wafers to our evaporation gallot. And inside the evaporator metal films are deposited on wafers. This is etching area. We wet etching uses liquid chemicals or etchants to remove materials from a wafer. Uh, since wet etchants are toxic and corrosive, uh, operators use protective clothing to ensure their safety. After the etching, wafers are rinsed carefully with DI water. Sensor wafers normally spend up to three months in the clean room and during this time they undergo several process control measurements and quality checks. Uh, microscope is needed in visual inspection since the sensor structures, they are very small micrometers in size so you cannot see much by blank eye. Ready sensor chips are assembled to sensors in our own assembly line. And here you can see our Humicap sensors ready to be sent to our instrument manufacturing. And finally, then the sensors end up to different instruments, which measure, for example, humidity, pressure, temperature, carbon dioxide, to name a few. What would you say is the most important thing in sensor manufacturing? I think it's definitely the quality and it's very important for us that we have our own clean room operations. So we are able to control the quality in each process step on site and develop our sensor processes and uh, to uh, be able to uh, control the final product quality. Uh, we also measure our sensors in the similar conditions, what they see in the final use. Thank you very much, Ulla, for, uh, for this virtual tour in our, our clean room. I think we could talk about this for hours, but time is running, so it's uh, time to move on to our next uh, topic. Uh, as Ulla, you just mentioned, uh, the sensors that we manufacture inside our clean room, they, we use them in various different measurement instruments, which measure uh, many, many different parameters. And this is what Vaisala is known for. We are known for our physical measurement uh, instruments. But nowadays, we produce more and more digital solutions and software as well. So, Kai, can you tell uh, some more about this? Yeah, uh, so uh, software has an increasing impact on, on the actual data that we, we produ pr produce through our instruments and, and our solutions in gathering that information, in disseminating that, and processing that information and, and making it visual as well. If we take as an example our connected car solution where we provide um, Weather service, weather service, accurate weather service, uh, hyper-local weather service for the driver, uh, uh, for both the weather and, and, and road conditions uh, en route uh, through the information display in, in, in the car. 
So we are now nearly at the end of our virtual visit, so it's time to, to round off this, quest, uh, this, um, this uh, discussion. So we have talked about science and we have seen where our uh, sensors are manufactured and where these sensors are, are used. But one important question is why we do all this. So at, at Vaisala, uh, we aim for measurements uh, that help tackle uh, the, the grand environmental and social uh, challenges of today, as Kai, you mentioned uh, earlier. Uh, but what does this mean uh, in practice? So maybe start with you, Ulla. Uh, in short, uh, we enable our customers to make decisions based on reliable data and also make improvements based on, based on our measurement data. And, uh, Actually, our sensors give the measurement capability and accuracy and stability to our measurement instruments. Yeah, with this science-based, uh, accurate, very accurate data, people can prepare for various different kinds of uh, challenges that, that, that may face them, such as prepare for extreme weather or, or I I create better solutions for renewable energy or uh, improve tra uh, travel sa uh, traffic safety, as an example. So I would actually summarize this, that, that science and science-based innovations really can make the world a better place. Yeah, exactly. So we have a couple of minutes time, so uh, maybe at least one question from the, from the audience. So let's see what we have. Oh, this is actually... Um, you mentioned that you have a lot of uh, research uh, scientists working for Vaisala. What kind of background do they have? So maybe Kai, can you there's answer a, this? Yeah, there's, there's a, we have a very, as I said, we have a f about 50 uh, different scientists uh, from a various different fields. And, and I would say that this ranges from really the, the physical physics and, 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 and measurement technologies to, to uh, artificial intelligence and everything in, in between. So very, very broad range and background. Mm. So now it's time for us to say uh, thank you. Thank you, Kai. Thank you, Ulla, for the discussion. And thank you all uh, online for, for joining us uh, uh, today. And let's continue the discussion on social media. You'll find us on LinkedIn and Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Uh, enjoy the Millennium Innovation Forum to Today there's a great program with very interesting sessions coming up, so I'm really looking for, forward to those. But now we say thank you and have a very nice summer. <laughs>